of the Quasar machine. Chloe's here to tell us all about this machine. So talk us through this, the benefits and the application. Okay, so behind us we've got the UX500. It's a full five axis machine with the Aurora palette on there. And what we wanted to show is the range of machines. So we've got the UX400, 500 and the 630. They go up from four plus one all the way up to five axis as well. Okay, and you've got automation on here. So what's the application? Why have you chosen this for today to be demonstrated? Okay, so as you can see, we've got two doors on either side. One's for the automation and the other one's for the worker to then go in and input it. So this machine is built for automation and for the pallet system as well. Thank you, Chloe. Right, going over then to Ian, we're going to then talk about that automation. And this is Aroa. So talk us through the company and the brand first. So Aroa is Swiss manufactured, um, based out in Brewer, about three quarters of an hour from Zurich. Um, there's four steps really to the Aurora product range. Uh, you've got the tooling systems, a range of pallets and chucks, which basically go from anywhere 800 by 800 down to uh, 50 mil pallets, and the chucking systems which will uh, receive all sorts of different sizes within that range. And then the next step within their range is presetting prior to loading a machine tool and then the next stage is really looking at uh, automation. Yeah and this is this is part of the turnkey as to what this is all about so talk us through this particular machine it's the robot compact 80. Yeah so compact 80 is the best selling uh, automation solution in the Aurora range it, as it says 80 can pick up to 80 kilos although uh, Aurora do do a range of automation systems will go from a few kilos up to 4.4 tonnes. We can do full turn FMS systems, so you're doing pallet loading, stock, holding stock within the cells, and we do linear robots as well. Okay, and how many, you know, we're not talking about the same parts here, are we? We're talking about diversification, aren't we? Yeah, so there again, going back to the chuck, which is the main uh, solution really, is how you deliver the part, whatever size billets or fixtures to the machine tool, so you can have a range of products and billets within the, um, the automation, within the robot. Okay, and we are talking about putting the Aroa right now on the Quasar machine, but it's not just the Quasar machines, is it? Yeah, we can connect to uh, existing machines or new machines. Uh, we can side load through, uh, like demonstrated here today, through the door on the side, or we can front load. Obviously, the benefits of this new Quasar machine is you've got good access from the side um, and that uh, it gives the operator full view of the products being machined. Wonderful, thank you. Can we please give Chloe, who's run away, <laughs> and Ian a big round of applause? Thank you.